Today we're gonna take a look at five Nintendo games that need to be made into a movie right now, please. What's up guys, I'm Riff. Thank you so much for liking the video in advance. I really appreciate it and it means a lot to us. So this list, five Nintendo games that need to be made into a movie, there is one little simple rule for this. It doesn't have to be a Nintendo IP exclusive. It can be anything as long as the game appeared somewhere on a Nintendo console at any time. Oh, and I'm gonna skip two of them, which is Mario and Zelda, because that's kind of obvious. That's gonna be on everybody's list. I'm trying to be a little more unique, so let's go. The first one is going to be Turok the Dinosaur Hunter, which came out in March of 1997 on the Nintendo 64. Now I'd want the story to be kind of like the game, a native time traveling warrior defeating tons of poachers, aliens, demons, and dinosaurs. Well really, in reality, I'd like it to be more strictly focused on dinosaur killing. I think that'd be insanely fun to watch. Brutal knife hunting and tons of high tech weapons would make the movie a blast to watch. If I could choose styling of the movie, I would like it to be shot with as little CGI as possible. Yes, I'd like it to be real life, but maybe like what Star Wars has been doing recently with their movies. They've been putting CGI in there, but they also add a lot of animatronics, which I think would make this a really fun movie to watch. A Star Fox animation. Imagine that, how cool that would be. A newer style animation made into a Star Fox movie. Now, I'm not talking like a Pixar style, Toy Story style. I'm talking more like a hand-drawn animated movie. Maybe even like a HD version of a lot of the 90s cartoons we got. And I feel like the story for this game turned into a movie would be really easy to translate because we already have a lot of main characters and all their unique personalities are already established. I picture Falco as like a Han Solo type and Fox as a Luke Skywalker type and Slippy is like a C-3PO and Peppy kind of like a Master Splinter. If we could involve the soundtrack from the games and translate them in any way over to a movie orchestra score, I think that would make it amazing because the tunes and pretty much all of the Star Fox games, yes, even the Wii U one, are fantastic. When I was first thinking of this list, this was the obvious choice to me, and this would be Blaster Master, done in a cartoon animation style, but a darker animation style. Kind of like the Castlevania Netflix style we're getting. I'm not saying with all the vulgarity and all the blood, but just that style of animation I think would work perfectly with a Blaster Master movie. A story of exploration, but not a sense of loneliness. Exploring, but not alone. Now I know the NES version of the game had a silly story, which had a lot of people laughing, kind of including myself, Jason and following his frog, his pet frog, which falls down a hole into a toxic thing that turns him huge, and Jason wants to go on this big dangerous adventure alone just to find his frog. But the Switch version of the game made it fun and interesting, and I really enjoyed it, and the story was actually exciting to me. I think this would be really cool because in Blaster Master on the Switch, just like I would want to see in the movie, you'd be meeting different friends along the way, and not friends that stick by you the whole time, that are just kind of popping in and out to help you on your journey, which kind of remind me of like Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Also, if you guys didn't know, there was a Kickstarter for a Blaster Master movie, which I put some money into as well, that did fail, and that's okay, but I was sad to see it fail. But it was really interesting, and I was excited for it because I was excited to see what they could do with the story. It was real life, but it still did look really interesting. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description below for the old trailer. In 2001, we got a game on the GameCube that still to this day is a really fun game with a great story, which is why I think it would translate well to a movie, and that's Luigi's Mansion. I don't have too much to say about this one, except I would like to see it done in the same type of fashion as a Ghostbusters movie, and I'm talking about the original Ghostbusters movies. I love that there's that deep, dark tone which Luigi's Mansion has, but also has some fun, lighthearted silliness just like Luigi and Luigi's Mansion. I feel like Luigi deserves a spot on this list to be having his own movie someday. I think people would still flock to see it. I think it could be like a cult movie even if it doesn't go huge. I feel like there's this giant cult of people that follow Luigi and would love to see Luigi get his own movie, Luigi's Mansion. My number one choice has to be Bad Dudes. Now some of you might not even know what Bad Dudes is, but it is two amazing hardcore dudes like 80s action guides Blade and Striker, and I already know exactly how I would want to see the movie. I want to see it done just like 
Kung Fury. I want this to be as 80s as possible with tons of cheesy quotes just like the game, cheesy sound effects, VHS glitch effects, and an ending that would make any millennial feel uncomfortable. And yes, I want to keep the mission exactly the same, the president captured by ninjas, and I want them to point at the screen and tell us, are you bad enough dudes to rescue the president? My god, this movie happened. <laughs> That's it, my dudes. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos. We do a ton of videos, too many videos for our own good. Sometimes it kills us, but we keep doing it because strictly this makes us happy. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Superhero Games.